Hey guys, my name is Ali and I work as a data analytics manager in Oslo, Norway. Even though you don't have any previous job experience, you can still create a data analyst portfolio that demonstrates your understanding for the most important concepts that you want to know as a data analyst. What we will do in this video is first we are going to take a look at a real data analyst job listing aimed at recent graduates and identify some key information. Then we are going to take that key information and tie it into data analyst concepts and then we will tie those data analyst concepts to the elements of a data analyst portfolio. Portfolio. Then we are going to look at my data analyst portfolio recommendation and a last point that I want to bring up. I also just wanted to take a small moment and say thank you for the suggestion for the video idea. I really appreciate it and the engagement makes this a lot more fun for me. So let's start off with the first point and go through the job listing. So this is the data analyst position that I found. I found it on LinkedIn. It's for a company called Group 9 Media and you can see it was it's located in New York and when I when I uh, exported it it was one day ago and it had over 200 applicants so it's quite popular you can see seniority level is entry level and i guess this is some sort of marketing company and what i've done is i've scrolled through and there's some information that we want to categorize later so we can just go through it really quick um, about the job group 9 media is seeking a data analyst to join our, our team role is a full-time position within the data science and analytics team in the insights department so that means they have their own department which is really good um, utilize modern data technologies and tools to del deliver valuable insights so you can see they use something google cloud platform they have looker data studio google sheets google analytics so very very heavy google house you can tell that provide access to data through dashboards report data reports, data pipelines, and data analysis. Uh, you need to know how to analyze and model big data, um, recommend actions that drive business decisions is something I've marked up, research new and innovative ways to make a business impact, and test hypo hypotheses that could drive business value, okay? Point data users in the right direction as to what is available and how to interpret the data. So this sounds like more like training and best practice, work with data scientists and engineers, to define a data collection strategy so they want to make sure that they have an individual who can talk about what the business needs and from there together figure out figure out how do we collect the most useful data and i thought this one was interesting implement data validation processes to ensure data quality it's not often i see that in a data analyst um, uh, job listing if we go down to the required skills recent graduate with graduates with equivalent experience will be considered fair enough python or r SQL, data visualization, and then some other capabilities. So what you can notice is that the stuff that I have marked up isn't necessarily technology related. It is just, it's more about the different responsibilities that you have that build on, built on understanding certain concepts. And the reason I haven't focused on the technologies is because the technologies will be different from company to company. There are some things that will uh, come back again and again, such as Python, R, SQL, you might have some visualization tools that comes back again and again. Tableau, Power BI, these big tools. But I'm trying not to focus too much on on the technology here. We still we, we want to focus on the concepts. So now that we have identified the key information, let's categorize it into data analyst concepts and tie those to the elements of a data analyst portfolio. And just for the repetition's sake, the four concepts we are looking for are number one is extracting and scraping data. The second one is transforming and cleansing data. The third is visualizing and creating reports. And finally, present and communicate with business. So what I've done is I've found the key information and then I've categorized it as a soft skill or a technical skill. It might be a combination. And then which data analyst concept does this tie into and how would I solve that in a data analyst portfolio? So if we look at this data and analytics team, you're going to be part of a team. You know, soft skill is to be able to work within the team. And I think if you have a portfolio that can show a collaborative project, I think that is a great way of showing that. Deliver valuable, valuable insights. So this could be a technical, technical skill because you need to know the data analyst concept, which is to visualize and create a report. That is the concept that you need to master to be able to do this. If you go to the next one, it's pretty much the similar same thing. Technical skill which is you need to know how to use uh, how, how to visualize data. You need to know how to use a visualization tool. It doesn't have to be a specific tool. If you know the concepts, then you will be able to use different visualization tools. I think when we come down to data modeling and these other concepts, it can become a little bit more challenging. So for data modeling, you can see that they specifically say analyze and model. So the data analyst concept is data modeling or cleansing. And the way you can do that, you can have a data model diagram, which shows what did the model look like before you did some joints or you, you combine some things and, and after. And you can show that visually, 
Here you can also have some code. You can have SQL code, which shows how you combined some data models or you cleanse some data. That is something you can have in your portfolio. How to interpret data that can both, once again, it could be something you are presenting, you're teaching someone how to interpret data, but you can also show how did you, how did you use the dashboards and the reports to interpret the data and share some sort of business value. That is also one way you could show that in your, in your data analysis portfolio. Um, data val validation process for data quality, technical. I would say that is something that happens during the data modeling process. It could be shown during a data, in a data model diagram. You can have, if you have a diagram that shows different steps you have taken the data through, one of those steps could be a data validation process. Um, I think these are the classics, Python, R, um, which is, you know, data analyst concept is extracting um, data, getting data out or data modeling. You can show this by having some code snippets or examples. You can have a SQL statement. Um, you know, this could also be something that is showed through a data model diagram. There's different ways of, um, of doing this. So these are some of the things that I look for that I think is important when I hire someone who is an entry level because I know that you're gonna come in and you might not know all the technology, which is fine and I don't expect you to. But I do expect you to understand some of the data analyst concepts because then I know that I just need to figure out how I can get you to apply those to the current technology stack that we have. And then you will, as you, as you go, you will learn more about, more about the technology and that is totally fine with me. I think if I were to focus on something and if I were to pick some portfolio elements out that I would focus on if I were to create a data analyst portfolio, I would definitely have a dashboard and I would probably have a main dashboard that shows kind of the main KPIs and maybe a couple more pages which are more focused on focus on details so that you have one that kind of gives the business the overview and then you have uh, maybe one, two or three more pages that has some sort of focus. And then just to convey that you understand data modeling and you have some idea of how a data model is built to be able to do data analysis, I think a data model diagram that maybe shows before and after you have made some changes to that I think that combined with some SQL statements and some some uh, some code could be a very good portfolio, uh, all in all, for someone who's looking at entry level jobs. Because it's not too much, it's not too little, and I think that's a good a good balance. Um, and for the code uh, and the examples there, I think it's useful to show maybe some SQL, some Python of how you can uh, uh, extract data in different ways. And then you can also have some SQL or some uh, some SQL statements combined with a data model modeling diagram, which shows data cleansing and uh, and how you maybe combine some different tables. It, it doesn't have to come from the same. It doesn't have to come from the same project. All of it, but I think those are some elements that I would focus on in a in a data portfolio to be able to convey your understanding of data analyst concepts. The last thing I want to talk about is don't forget that the data analyst role can be very different from company to company. At one company, you might work most of the time in Tableau, creating dashboards and very closely with the business. And you only use SQL to do some checks to see how your calculations are in Tableau versus the raw data. You might not even do any heavy data modeling or advanced analysis because you work with a data engineer and a data scientist that specializes in this. But if you understand the concepts, you can still have the necessary conversations with them to create better results for the business. You could also end up in a company where you have to be more involved in the back-end work because there aren't designated roles and you work more across all the different concepts. What I'm trying to get to is that the concepts will make sure you can communicate with all parts of the data analytics chain and you can adapt if you have to be hands-on in different parts as necessary. The technology a company uses is also important and will be tools you use every single day but you will get the time to learn those and when you master those your conceptual knowledge will shine through. That is what I had for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm thinking of creating a build a data analytics portfolio series and exemplify each step I just need to figure out how I'm going to go about it if you have any thoughts on which concepts you would be interested in seeing me recreate or if you think all of them would be helpful then let me know don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time